Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Freeform Fridays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, shine them up and make them look pretty. So this is the general area which I usually pick from, and then my finished ones I throw up there. But this week, we are going to do something a little different. We haven't done this in a while. We're going to do some fossils and some muriatic acid this week. So this is one that I picked up on a recent hunt. I'm hoping that a lot of that rock comes out of there, but I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of in between the normal ones I put in acid, so we'll see. Here, I'll get it wet for you too. <laughs> just so you can kind of see all the chains through there. I'm hoping a lot of that brown, or at least a little bit of that brown, gets eaten out by the acid. And then hopefully that bottom part right there stays just to hold it all together. So it should be perfect if it's the right material. It's hard to tell on this one. And then this is another one. This is just a really cool stromatoporoid um, on the bottom, like a full one. But then it's got this colony of chain right here, really tiny right on the top of it. And then maybe some a little bit more right there, you know. I just want to put it in the acid and see if I can melt all that brown out of there, you know, just to see if it'll come out and make this just a full total, you know, a couple different types of fossils. So we will get out in the garage and we'll get the things set up. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I got my bucket with muriatic acid and just a little bit of water, probably like 75-25 muriatic acid to water. And then we have our other bucket, which we'll put our baking soda in for after. We have our little basket, and I have my two in there, so I'm just going to lower it in. And I made this little basket just so it's easier to do this step. So hopefully we see some bubbling right away. Let's see. Oh yeah, I see some bubbles. So we got some stuff eaten away already. So we'll leave these guys in here probably, I don't know about 24 hours maybe and I'll come out and check them you know this the bigger one once that all that browns out of there it probably won't nothing will happen anymore so we'll see we'll keep checking them that's why I'm using 75 25 usually people do a little bit less um, and then they can leave them in there and watch them a little closer you know like a longer period of time but I watch them pretty close so we'll come out and check in about 24 hours and see what we got okay so I've been watching these things and I think they're about to where they're gonna get so I'm gonna take it out of here now I'm gonna put it in another bucket with baking soda and that'll kind of neutralize all the acid so I'm not gonna give you a peek here I'm just gonna lift them up slow let all the kind of dirty water drain out a little bit a little bit here I don't want to shake it too much because those chain curls are really fragile all right then I'm just gonna transfer it over and I'm gonna let it sit in here for at least a few hours there you can hear it's sort of sizzling and kind of neutralizing that acid so I'm gonna let it sit in there for a little while um, and then I'll transfer it over to another bucket after that with some clean water and probably another one after that too. But I'll get this step done, let this sit for a little bit, and then we'll get on to the next. Okay, I got them out of the acid. I got them all rinsed off. So we'll start with this first one. So none of it really burned out of there. It must all just be kind of muddy stuff in there. So I might go in with like a Dremel or something or like a little pick and try to take it out by hand, but I'm not gonna do that today because that's gonna be, that's gonna take a while. Still a really cool rock though, stromatoporoid and then the chain coral on the outside of it. So I'm gonna do something with it for sure. And then we got this one. I'm gonna try to be super careful. So I'll get this angle at it. The tubes kind of go all the way through. But if I can pick it up really gently here, that bottom part did not stay in there like I was hoping, but look at that. That is pretty awesome. So if I can get this thing sprayed maybe with some poly and get it to stay together right like that, that's pretty sweet. But it did turn out really, really good. Most of it burned out. Let's see if I can get you an angle from this side. Yeah, there we go. So it turned out really good, but it is really fragile right now. So I'm not going to manhandle it too much more here before I spray it. But definitely 50-50. Uh, the first one, nothing at all. This one, super awesome, even with that cavity in there. So, all right, if you like this video, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.